you're cooking with your favorite cooking show host, Sheila, in the Gangster Goodies Kitchen. Well, guess what? We're not going to cook anything today, but y'all know me. Y'all know I like to shake up a cocktail or two, and it's summertime or springtime. I don't know. Depends on my city. It's went from winter to summer, like, for two weeks. Anyway, y'all, take a look at today's guest. Welcome back, y'all, to Gangster Goodies Kitchen. I hope that you're doing something today that makes your soul happy. Y'all see my guest today? We're going to be talking about something that y'all like. And so if you all could just introduce yourself. I'm Charlotte Ford, part right. of Team Build for Tough. We do everything that relates to finances and making sure you stay in the black. And I am Latoya Rosoff, the owner of 79 Rose Dress Shop, the premier dress shop for curvy women. Absolutely, y'all. And y'all know I'm curvy, so y'all better go check her out. Check her <laughs> out. And we're talking about fashion and finances today, y'all. And we're not going to cook anything, but we are going to make a cocktail. So you're going to take your favorite apple-infused whiskey. Now, I can't tell you which one to buy. And they didn't pay me to tell y'all which one to buy. So that's why it's in here. So we're going to take, and I forgot to get a shot glass, y'all, because I do try to measure the alcohol. Because having too much alcohol in the cocktail, that ain't good, y'all. Mm. So we're going to use the lid, okay, as our measuring stick. Okay, so we're going to fill that up. There's three of us. So we're going to fill that up three times. So that's roughly an ounce. That's all we need in a cocktail. We don't need five or six ounces of liquor in a cocktail. And have you ever gone anywhere and you're like, wow. All the time. Because yeah. now yes. you can taste it. You can yeah. taste you're it. You're like, ooh, good yeah. lord. Yes. Who are they making that cocktail for? Mm. <laughs> so now we have cranberry juice. Same drill, y'all. I use my favorite. You use your favorite. Now, if you inbox me, I will tell you which one is my favorite, okay? Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do equal parts apple whiskey and then equal parts cranberry juice. Mm. So y'all count me with me. That's one. <laughs> dose. <laughs> Two. There we go, dose. And, and three. three. I know we silly, y'all. I know y'all yes. laughing. Yes. <laughs> then we're going to put this lid on and we're going to shake. This is one of my favorite parts. I know, Ooh, right? Shake, yeah. shake, 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 shake. Okay, ladies, come on. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. shake, shake. <laughs> Before we actually get ready to pour, I wanted to ask you ladies a question. So, are you both from the Kansas City area? Yes. Yeah. Born and raised. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. And so, I have a clip, y'all, that I want y'all to see. With these models from 79 Rose, y'all take a look, and then when we come back, we're going to pour and taste, and we're going to learn more about 79 Rose Dress Shop, Bill for Tough, and In the Black. Awesome. In the Black, y'all. We'll be right back. I know, right? Y'all yes. better give LaToya a call. In yes. fact, we're going to put LaToya's information on the screen so you guys can hit her up. You can go right online and order what you want, okay? Order what you want. Yes. <laughs> and if you join her out at her shop, one of her models is you bring the curvy frame and she has the champagne. Yes. Like I'm popping bottles out there. Yes. I love it. It's a personal shopping experience. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here we go, y'all. So we got it all in here. Okay, awesome. And we're going to pour. Ooh. 
such a pretty color. I know, look, look at, at it. That. And then Ooh. get yourself an apple rim and you just drop it in there. Ooh, fancy. Fancy. Yes, yes because we fancy and kind of bougie. I know. And, you know what? That's the mental. That's bougie. bougie. Bougetto? Bougetto. Yeah, that's yes. what my kids call me. They're like, you I, just I, so I claim it. I do too. I claim it. I do too. Oh, I'm so, look, no, no, no. I'm leaving no, you out no, the apple. It's too exciting. It's too exciting. Girl, it's all good. Y'all take a closer look at this cocktail, y'all. I know mm. it looks fire. So good. Cheers. Cheers. Clink, 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 clink. One thing I forgot to top it off with just a little bit of soda water. Dang, just a little bit. And what does soda water do to it? It just gives it a fizz. I like a little fizz in my life. Yeah. Yeah. I like a little fizz. I can I can't get enough of soda water. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh. And it's so simple. And it's so simple. And you don't taste the liquor. No. It's like so. I like Yeah. I like lake. It's like a lake. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. You have to make one. You have to make one. Okay, so now I really want to know. Fashion, y'all, you know, y'all are probably more fashion divas than I am, okay? <laughs> so, fashion and finance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Toya, Latoya has been having 79 rows for how many years now? I started 79 rows. It's going to be year five. <gasps> Congratulations! Thank you. 2016. Yes. 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 I was birthing my son, so I always kind of keep the date. But um, I started it because there was like a gap mm -hmm. for curvy women to have cute clothes. Yes. And I kept hearing it, like you know, mm -hmm. like and I started off as which I started off with black dresses, right? Because okay. every girl needs a little black LBD. dress. LBD. LBD. We yes. did, and so you know, like the mission is, you know, to promote body positivity yes. because there's so much body shaming, especially on like social media out. Like yes. you don't fit in this beauty standard box. Yes. Then you like, you know, feel shunned. And mm -hmm. so I was like, that's not cool. Like I wanted right. to create a spot where women feel like safe to yes. come shop mm -hmm. and not feel body shamed. They have cute stuff. Yes. Like you didn't want to have like look like matronly just because you curvy shouldn't be punished. Exactly. And not to have like, cute clothes. We should actually be glorified because we yes. have curves. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so that's why I started. I wanted to, you know, like I said, promote body positivity. Yes. And empower women to embrace embrace yes. your curves, girl. Just, yes. just as you are. Yes. Just as you just are. Just as you are. And so because I like to do stuff with Toya, well, I was like, Toya, I'm in the black finances to be in the black finance. You know, I mean, I want to teach people how to be in the black. That means you are financially fit, right? Yes. And so it's like, well, we can come together and say, well, we can be in the black fashion-wise and then in the black financially. I because in order to do so, you know, we came up with the initial, you know, a program that we were talking about was creating your look. And making yes. sure you can buy things within that vein. Yes. And if you build a wardrobe instead of just buying things here, buying things there, then you can get more bang for your buck. So yes. we kind of came together. We had a couple of seminars regarding that topic because nice. I mean, you got to know what looks good on you. Yep. I you got to build a wardrobe conversation. Yes. yes. And yes. what does who, who what woman doesn't look good in a little black dress? Absolutely. So yes. Learn how to build from that, and that's kind of where we we got together um, at I that point. Love that. And then being totally transparent, like our community, and it's not just the black community, but the thing is, the cards are stacked against it us. Against us. Anymore. So yes. because the majority, like statistics show that the majority of Americans could not pay for a thousand dollar emergency mm -hmm. cash yes. if they needed to. Right. And that just right. means that no one is managing their money. They're just living exactly. Exactly. Just, We're yes. all living. But the thing is, is that it is the odds are decked against us. Yes. So even yes. though, so you know, true. some people may be able to, you know, take advantage of loans, take mm -hmm. advantage of this, that, getting a better job, either, it's not the same for us. walk for us. Because yes. so if you're not disciplined with what you got, when you get more, you're just going to spend more. Yeah. That's it. You're just going to spend more. Same thing. So what's, what's, your, what's, your, what's your target for budgeting? For budgeting, so, you know, 50%, 50, 20, 30. So... 50% of your income that you bring in should be for your needs. So mm -hmm. everything that, your overhead, you know, like your your car payments, mm -hmm. your all those mm -hmm. things that are necessary mm -hmm. for you to 
yes. live and breathe. And then 20% should be for your savings okay. and everything that's going to help you make sure that if you, when you get to the point where you don't want to work, yes. you don't have to you work. You don't have to work. So, and then 30% are for those things that are ancillary, things that make your heart sing. Mm. Well, we Cocktails. always say traveling, Cocktails. travel, Cocktails. Travel, right? fashion, fashion. <laughs> but what we say sometimes, and I, always, I just have to point this out, you can't have your cake for the steak. So, mm. the ancillary things that make your heart sing, the cake of your life, you, if you don't have the steak, what's going to help me get to the end? Absolutely. What's going to help me really accomplish those real, real goals, not the immediate goals? If right. I don't have enough for the steak, then I can't have a cake. Can't have a cake. So, let me figure that out. But you have to start that out by creating a budget and working by that budget. Mm. So... Toya, and that that wow, budget includes that. also includes what you need for your in that thirty percent, which is necessary. It, yes, because you can't go to work looking no, like no, you know, no, raggedy. No. You have right. to go to work looking, you know, pulled together. Right, and that's why you have to understand what your style is and being able to capitalize on that and take advantage of yeah. opportunities to shop at places like Seventy Nine Rows that not only provide you with good staples but also fancy things and that's one yes. thing i like about toya what i love about 79 rows is that first of all it's in my budget mm -hmm. and but i'm gonna get a piece that is gonna transcend whatever yeah. is going on in the world because it speaks to me yes. as a person my personality like i can't wait to wear that floral pantsuit y'all and it, i'm gonna make up a place to go <laughs> where at i'm telling you Y'all yeah. gonna be like, oh my god, she don't sit down. <laughs> no, but like I wanted like conversation pieces, especially like yes. like you could think like again going back to if you're curvy, you've always been self conscious. Most women are self conscious about their curves. Mm -hmm. Like think about it, like, you you can you can't go to any store no. and buy it. Mm -hmm. You have to go to specialty shops mm -hmm. and think about what that does to the psychology, mm -hmm. the psyche over yep. time. Over time, mm -hmm. you're and so, so right. I wanted to create, you know. Uh, fashionable, affordable, but conversation pieces for that woman that, yep, I'm here. Yep, mm -hmm. I'm curvy. And yep. I look good. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, yes. That is exactly what she does. And the thing is that she doesn't really talk about, I never really hear you say that. She really studied fashion. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I, she does, she never says this because she, I mean, that's how I always used to tout this like, oh, Toy is it textile marketing it was fashion she went wow. to school I did, I did for that. fashion and we we forget we forget we that a lot of time forever wow. but you can so you yeah. guru for real yeah, yeah. so yeah. i started yeah. uh i have a, a bachelor's in fashion my merchandising and business mm -hmm. i actually started my professional career in the fashion world i worked for talbot mm -hmm. okay and then i worked wow. for Halls, kansas talbot. city yeah. and yes. then i've been in the hr field for the last Ooh, 17 years. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like, yeah, I do. She I did. Do. So do you ladies have any events coming up? Any yes. seminars? Yes. Okay. We have a women's empowerment event. Nice. Kicking off on July 9th. Okay. Yes. And so we're talking about mind, body, soul. Yes. We're talking about taboo topics. Sexual revolution. Sexual revolution. Oh. And you know, we're talking um, about finances. Finances. We're talking about nutrition. We're talking nice. about fashion. All of the things. The theme is to make life beautiful. And yes. what does that mean? It means oh. you just need to make your life. Whatever that looks like is subjective to whoever. Yes. But all of the things are at the core of what will help you make your life. How to live your dream. Nice. How to all the things. Your purpose, all the purpose. So it's everything. a day nice. seminar with brunch and drinks and cocktails nice. and everything. Nice. And so how can people buy tickets? Yes. Um, go go to our page in the black on Instagram. There okay. Is an e e bite link. Okay. And so we're gonna start our promotion here in a yep. week or so. As okay. Well. Okay. Yep. 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 And the yep. date is July the 9th, mm -hmm. and that's on a Saturday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's from what time to what time? Eleven to three. Mm -hmm. Eleven to At three. At the Inner Urban Arts Center, it's which is in awesome. Overland Park, which is a local Beautiful. museum for local artists. Yes. Really. Yes. 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 Nice. That's my birthday weekend. Oh, yes. so I can't even think about doing nothing else better than making myself beautiful. Yes. My birthday weekend. Yes. Okay. I love it. Yes. Now, in the black, how can people connect with your services? We have on um, IG, uh, Bill for Tough, um, we have an IG uh, okay. page as well as I can give you some information. You can post it and you can link up with us because we do everything from um, budgeting income protection mm -hmm. uh, and investing my husband has his license I have did y'all hear what she so said she said income protection yes. protection yes yes 
y'all better give her a call yeah that's all yes. that's all i'm saying yes. and it, y'all better give her a call <laughs> so it's all about that because a lot of things we talk about um successful women and when we read our books for being successful it yes. talks about you know two major components once you gotta feel you gotta look you gotta yes. feel confident yes it's not superficial mm-hmm. it's not it's it can't not be. superficial it can't be. some mm-hmm. people like to chalk it up like uh-huh. No, it's real. It's you gotta walk in a room it. looking good, feeling good. And the other yes. part is that you gotta know what your finances are. Because yes. if you're worried about how your bills are, how yes. am I gonna pay for the yes. the delicious drink? Yes. Then you can't live your life as full as possible. So mm-hmm. those are two things that you definitely have to deal with. So um Yep, link, link up with us up, up at uh, in the black in the black or Bill for Tough on um, IG. And we'll put all of that up there because seriously, y'all, you know, finances are important, you know, uh, and fashion is important. They're, you know, they're important. And so y'all tap into these two lovely young ladies and thank you so much for watching and cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Y'all try this cocktail. Enjoy the rest.